This is a time of conquest. The age of Vikings. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you play as Eivor, the fierce Viking warchief of the Raven Clan. Eivor and their kin have forged into England to settle the new frontiers. But these are dangerous times, and each new landscape contains untold perils and mysteries to uncover. Your saga begins with a simple need for a home. Your Viking settlement is the beating heart of your adventure and is the intersecting point for many of Valhalla's interwoven storylines. Here, you'll get familiar with your clan and begin your journey through England. At the Alliance map, you'll meet Randvi, the clan's key intel gatherer, and plan your first moves. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms, Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. By forging alliances with different territories, the Raven Clan will expand their influence, allowing you to grow your settlement and open a wealth of new narrative arcs, missions, activities, and ways to experience the game world. Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. Each of England's kingdoms have many stories to uncover, with their own unique plot lines, casts of characters, and challenges to overcome. Are you Sigurd Drenger? Eivor. If you keep that up, I'll stay in the floors. Including assassinating targets, forging allies, and assaulting rivals in large-scale battles. These story arcs explore the themes of honor, glory, leadership, and choice that are central to Eivor's journey. And your pivotal choices will leave long-lasting impacts across the kingdoms. Three men, three possible futures. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? Viking warfare is visceral and brutal, and there are many powerful rivals and enemy types that will stand in your way. Thankfully, Eivor is equipped with a diverse set of combat skills, including brute strength charging maneuvers, close quarters melee attacks, and explosive two-handed finishes, while range abilities like Man's Best Friend and Poison Powder Trap allow you to flank and interrupt your foes from a distance. Your skills are upgraded through a progression system, which allows you to unlock perks and abilities to suit your style of play. Special abilities are found in books of knowledge hidden throughout the world and have their own upgrade tiers that improve their power and effectiveness. As you forge deeper on your journey, your explorations will reward you with exotic gear from the far corners of the world, further unlocking combat options and dual wield combinations, including the legendary Excalibur. Choice is central to Valhalla's player experience, and that begins with Eivor. At the start of your adventure, you'll have the opportunity to choose Eivor's gender, and you can seamlessly swap between male and female Eivor at any time during your story. And so I race my horn to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. After a victory, you return home with resources pillaged from your conquests, using them to expand your settlement with structures and upgrades. There's a wide variety of structures to build, each with their own use. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ideal rush. Things go hot.
incoming truck. Left side. A rush might be in the truck. I can't make out his face yet. I don't want them. What the fuck? We just diced everyone in a truck. That's gotta be a rush. Hold fire. We need a positive ID. That's our man. Take him out. City of endless opportunity. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! City like any other, just bigger. Nah, mano, not just any other city. Legends are born here. The Major Leagues. We're only here because Dex is pulling the strings. Doubt that puts us in the same league as them. But we are. They just don't know it yet. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bull. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? You know, you can make heaps more eddies as a motivational speaker. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. So what's the gig, Dex? You meant to come out in one piece? <laughs> How about we go over the plan? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Job to grab it. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. We are robbing some heavy hitters. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Good team, baby. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. Sounds simple enough. These lead assholes! Is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, me, boy. We're bulletproof. Get your ass moving now! What the fuck just happened in there? Can't stop digging Night City. Fucking Major Leagues. Happy now, Jackie? Yep, I fucking hide! Time to bail! Oh my god, we're so fucked. Dix! What the fuck? Game risky, V. And you. Who are you?
So this is Filament. Impressive. I can help you break in, but we're going to leave a trail, unless of course Malik has an idea. There. I persuaded Filament security to log that Spiderbot's activity as system maintenance. Thanks. But if I was a wiser man, I'd be wary of a helpless boy. It's not like the movies. Spies aren't the police. I believe in working with the lesser evils, like DeadSec, to protect society from the greater ones. So why did Zero Day kill all my friends? There are differing schools of thought. Pop-up street fair, best food in the city, awesome music. Man, this would be great for the last beat I was working on. I should get back into mixing. Yeah, it's been a while. So what do you think about Rio Morales? You gonna vote for her? It's still hard to think of mom as a politician. She's been a teacher my whole life. Similar skill sets, right? Rallying people, educating them, making sure they don't throw things at each other. Hi, I'm Brian Horton, Creative Director at Insomniac Games. We're excited to show you this first look at gameplay from Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. 
Our story picks up one year after the events of the first game, and we find Miles' new home, Harlem, is in danger. Trouble brews while Miles' mom, Rio Morales, leads an election rally. A war between the devious energy corporation, Roxxon, and the underground. A high-tech criminal army led by the Tinkerer starts to break out. In this gameplay sequence, captured on PlayStation 5 hardware, the underground attacks Roxxon, sending the rally into chaos in a fight that spills onto the Braithwaite Bridge, where the underground tries to steal Roxxon's experimental energy source, new form. Let's take a look. Go, go, go! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not shoot each other, all right? My name is Keith Lee, and I am the game director for Godfall. On behalf of Counterplay Games, we are very excited to share gameplay with you today and to offer you a glimpse into the mystical world of Godfall. Today you will be seeing extensive gameplay captured on a PlayStation 5 development kit. Please keep in mind that the game is still a work in progress and some things may change from the final product as we continue to learn and harness the power of Sony's next generation console. Please enjoy. So let's jump right into what Godfall is. Godfall is a looter slasher that features intense action, satisfying moment to moment combat, and robust loot progression systems. You can enjoy the game at your own pace, playing alone, or through online co-op with up to two additional teammates. Godfall is set in a brand new high fantasy universe filled with heroic knights, arcane magic, and forbidden realms. The world is split up into the elemental realms of earth, water, air, and fire. Godfall is a complete all loot and gear in the game are acquired or unlocked through gameplay. There are no microtransactions, no waiting for content, it's all in the game on day one. As you adventure, you'll get to tear through enemies to challenge a mad god who awaits you at the top. You play a Valorian knight, a godlike warrior able to equip valor legendary armor sets that transform you into an unstoppable master of melee combat. Throughout your journey, you'll find ancient valor plates lost in time, each with their own characteristics and long history. Now let's talk about gameplay in Godfall. First, our team wanted to do something different. We wanted to combine action RPG loot progression with third-person melee combat to create what we think is a looter slasher. Our game is therefore one part gear-driven and one part player skill-driven. In other words, not only do we want you to find exquisite weapons with powerful loot traits, but we also want you to have that feeling of accomplishment for mastering the wide set of combat mechanics available to you in Godfall. From a combat philosophy perspective, the melee combat in Godfall is intended to be fluid, dynamic, and interactive, embracing offense over defense. More often than not, you'll be facing multiple enemies at the same time. As a result, you should always be moving and closing the gap on enemies. Also, you dominate the combat space, not the enemies. 
and the game rewards you for being aggressive. With that said, our reimagining of Mafia stays close to the original story, which tells the tale of Tommy Angelo, a cab driver who falls in with the mob by chance before rising to become one of Lost Heaven's most feared gangsters. Taking place over eight years during Prohibition and its aftermath, this is an epic crime story set against the backdrop of 1930s Lost Heaven, a Midwestern US city riddled with corruption. While the story centers on Tommy, one of the elements of the original Mafia that we all love is its rich cast of characters, so they're all represented here. Tommy's best pals Polly and Sam, his love interest Sarah, the mob boss Salieri and his consigliere Frank, the mechanic Ralphie, weaponsmith Vinny, and dogged detective Norman all return. Knowing the importance of both gunplay and driving to the Mafia franchise, we redesigned all of the core gameplay throughout the game, while keeping all of the missions, major mission beats, and underlying narrative intact. We've also included an extensive selection of period authentic vehicles, including motorcycles. And there's a wide range of weapons, again, all based on weapons from the air. As with the original Mafia, the heart of the definitive edition is its missions. We've worked very hard to ensure that each mission has its own unique feel and memorable set pieces inspired by the original game. We'll now take a closer look at one of those iconic missions, a trip to the country. This mission takes place about halfway through the game. Tommy has already established himself as a valuable member of the Salieri crime family. Unfortunately, the Salieri crew is struggling to make ends meet as a rival mob, run by Don Morello, has cornered most of the city's major rackets. Their fortunes might be about to change, however, with the arrival of a shipment of whiskey from Canadian bootleggers. All Tommy and his partner Polly need to do is travel to a farm outside of town where they will meet Sam and the trucks carrying the bootleg whiskey. But from the moment they arrive, it's clear that something's gone wrong. Let's go find them. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. Catch up with you. Mafia is a franchise rich in atmosphere and tone. For the Mafia remake, we wanted every mission to exemplify this. A Trip to the Country is our haunted house mission, designed and built to create a sense of foreboding as you search for Sam. As with the original, Mafia is mostly a narrative-driven experience. However, we still offer some opportunities to explore locations like the farm, where you can find clues that help flesh out the game's backstories and subplots, along with a range of period-appropriate collectibles. Becomes the hunted. That's the one who took my hand, all right. Get yourself ready, boy. Man eater. <laughs> he 
the people, save the world.